The final stage of desert formation is called tertianship. After a man has completed all of his studies, then spent a few years working as a priest or brother, he's ready to begin this final stage of his formation. So starting tertianship, he's been in the order a good 15 years, maybe more. Tertianship is an extended break from active ministry, a time for a more intentional focus on prayer and study. In a lot of ways, it's like going back to novitiate, those first two years of Jesuit life. In fact, tertianship is sometimes referred to as the third year of novitiate. Men in tertianship, tertians as they're called, spend their days studying Jesuit history, the constitutions, and the vows, just like in novitiate. This time, though, it's after much lived experience as a Jesuit. Also like novitiate, Jesuits in tertianship undertake the 30-day long retreat based on the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius. And finally, like novices, tertians do an experiment, a several month long ministry assignment, usually with the poor, and often something much different than they've been doing in their normal ministry. Often Jesuits do their tertianship abroad, but regardless, tertianship is a very international experience. Every class of tertians contains Jesuits from around the world. After tertianship is complete, a Jesuit is eligible to be called to final vows, in which he will make his final incorporation into the Society of Jesus. So that's Jesuit formation in a nutshell. If you have other questions, feel free to fill out the inquiry form at beajesuit.org. A Jesuit will be in contact with you shortly. Thanks for watching and thanks for your interest in Jesuit formation.